guys, it's Charlie on The Pagan Perspective and today we are talking about non-traditional deities. Alright, so this is actually fitting because I'm sitting right here near some what looks like to be dragons. They look kind of like a mix between dragons and dogs. I'm going to show you guys. in Thailand right now and I have been thinking like the past week about something that is kind of random for me and it's about worshiping dogs so I thought this was a great topic to come up at the time because I love puppies and I'm I have big big puppy fever and something that has been on my mind lately has really been the topic of dog worship so I thought I would talk a little bit about deities and specifically dogs <laughs> I know it's random in Nepal and many parts of India dogs are actually worshipped and there is a festival that happens around November for about five days where there's like a dog worshipping festival it's called the Tihar festival I'm quoting in Hinduism it is believed that the dog is a messenger of Yama the god of death and dogs guard the doors of heaven. I was joking to my girlfriend that I was going to create my own god, like a dog god, and worship that god. And this brings up slightly another topic, which is creating your own gods. There are already gods that are dogs, especially in the Egyptian realm, but something that is like creates a lot of controversy in the pagan realm and the whole branch of paganism is creating your own gods and the problem for many people is that you're not rep you're not um, honoring tradition but if you think about it there has to have been a start to each god um, there has always been one point where a god was new and so at some point someone has thought up of a name and there are these energies that these people have placed upon this god or have felt around this god and so that can happen even now if you think about it at some point there is always a new god every god that you can think of was new at some point in time and there was someone who thought up a name for this god goddess or deity so what i was thinking was i thought up like the energies around it and I could somehow call upon this energy as a new form of a god and it's not that the god is new to me because it would be same energies that existed forever but it's that I'm calling upon this new energy in a new name and it's kind of like bringing everything together in a new way. No, I have not heard of people in real life worshiping and honoring non-traditional deities. I don't really know many pagan people, but I have really thought about it, especially lately, about creating my own kind of dog god or like deity. I don't think it would be a male or a female, and I think it would have a very uplifting, bouncy personality. <laughs> and yeah, I have thought about this a lot and I might have to keep you guys updated on what you, I come up with, but I'm not really someone who has really worshipped any deities since I became pagan. Um, I really just focus on energy and nature, but I do think it might be something I might be experimenting with in the future because it has been on my mind. I hope that this topic um, sparked some thoughts in you and gave you some ideas. Maybe you have been thinking that none of the gods or goddesses or deities fit you or your personality and you want to have something more of your own and I think there's nothing wrong with creating your own non-traditional deities and I know that that's a big subject in paganism and there's a lot of controversy behind it because people think that you're not honoring tradition but to me at some point 
everything was new. Anything you can think of regarding a deity was once a new thing. Let's say I create this dog deity of my own, maybe thousands of years from now, people are gonna be like, oh, do you know this dog deity? I worship this dog deity. And then someone's gonna be like, I wanna make my own. And then they're gonna be like, no, you need to honor the old, which would be what I have created thousands of years before. But if you think about it right now, it's new. I hope this makes sense to you. I just think that it's not a problem to create something of your own. And all of the energies are energies of old, I guess you could say. And it's not that I'm creating something completely new. I'm just taking from the universe and putting a new name to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.